Hey guys, this is uh, Chad. It's uh, week 11. I uh, just want to give you an update on, um, I'm actually going to do, uh, my next video is going to be on uh, vitamins and minerals and, and why you need to take them. Um, I know two weeks ago I did a video why I was uh, on travel on the vitamins and minerals that I take um, and how I stay in ketosis when I'm on the road. Um, one of the things I've wanted to do for a while is uh, a video on um, on uh, vitamins and minerals and, and why you need to take them, which ones you should take and how you should take them. But before I do that, um, I think it's important to do a separate video on uh, who, who do I get my inspiration from, uh, who do I get my research from, and um, why, why is it important? Um, who can you trust and, and who is really an expert in the research? So um, I'm definitely not an expert, I'm not a doctor, uh, I don't play one on TV, and, and I certainly don't. Um, I, I certainly don't make this stuff up. Um, I actually do the research, and I listen to the experts on uh, what you should be taking and, and how this ketogenic diet is is supposed to go. So, um, first and foremost, um, and I, I've been following um, her for over a year as uh, Dr. Rhonda Patrick. Um, just to give you a little bit of her bio, um, she is a scientist uh, with a PhD in uh, biomedical science. Um, she currently is a uh, postdoctoral fellow at uh, Children's Hospital uh, Oakland Research Institute. Um, she has done research on uh, heat stress and heat shock proteins on metabolism and muscle mass. Um, she's also um, a, a, a lead researcher in the area of uh, genetic polymorphisms, uh, epigenetics, neutrogenetics, uh, cancer, aging, uh, mitochondrial metabolism, uh, nutrition, and micronutrients and how they excel diseases. Um, really, um, her, a lot of her studies is all about um, your environment and what you eat um, and how you treat your body as far as exercise um, and, and weightlifting, what that does to, you, to, to your body at the genetic level and how you can uh, turn your genes on and off based on, um, on, on your lifestyle. Um, also, Dr. Bruce Ames, uh, who is also a scientist. Uh, he is also a PhD in biomedical science, uh, biomedical science. He is Dr. Rhonda Patrick's mentor. Um, and you can find both Dr. Rhonda Patrick and Dr. Bruce Ames um, on YouTube. Uh, they do a lot of talks. Um, uh, Dr. Patrick is all over the place. Um, you see her a lot at the Paleo FX events, um, a lot at the, the ketogenic shows, things like that. Dr. Bruce Ames um, spends a lot of time doing his research. Um, he is the um, Professor of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology at UC Berkeley. Um, and, and both Dr. Rhonda Patrick and Dr. Bruce Ames work at UC Berkeley. Um, they do a lot of work there. Um, and, and that'll be um, an important factor to remember um, later when I talk about um, supplements and vitamins and minerals and, and some of the research that I've done. Um, I also follow uh, Dr. Mark Gordon. Um, he's a doctor of endocrinology and uh, uh, hormone therapy, um, focusing on hormone deficiencies. Um, and how to measure those and then how to treat those in both males and females. Um, I also follow uh, Dr. Decker Weiss, who is a board certified cardiologist. Uh, he also holds a seat on the uh, American Heart Association board. Um, and so he, he is an expert in uh, all things cardiology. Um, and and, and I, th I think he's an important voice um, when it comes to doing the ketogenic diet and a lot of the negativity that comes with um, people who don't understand the ketogenic diet and the amount of fat that you intake. So um, really appreciate him and, and, and what he has to say on the subject. Um, also a big fan of Dr. Eric Berg. Um, Dr. Eric Berg, um, he, he's doing a lot of videos right now on health and fitness um, on YouTube. Uh, he does a, a lot of videos on um, things that, that people say that just aren't true and kind of debunking a lot of the myths. Um, Dr. Rhonda Patrick also spends a lot of time debunking the myths and debunking bad science when, when it comes to um, reports that are written, uh, things that are going around on the internet. Um, she actually looks at those studies and, and debunks that kind of stuff too. Um, then there's just um, flat out experts in the field. Uh, Thomas DeLauer is probably uh, my, my, my top go-to guy. Um, he knows just about everything there is to know about uh, food science and, um, and the ketogenic diet and uh, supplementation. The other one is Chris Kresser. Um, he's the head of the Kresser Institute uh, in California. Um, he's really big on functional medicine and he also plays a big role when it comes to uh, both paleo and ketogenics. Um, and then of course, Mark Sisson. And Mark's got uh, Mark's Daily Apple blog, um, as well as a whole host of nutritional uh, supplements and foods that um, 
that you can purchase online. Um, he's got a whole line of, of foods that are uh, uh, good for a ketogenic diet as well as a paleo diet. So um, I'll actually post all of these guys in kind of their fields of expertise down at the bottom of this video. Um, but I thought it was important to know that um, when I'm doing these videos, I'm not just making this stuff up. I'm, I'm actually getting the information from uh, reliable sources that, uh, that you can trust. And, and hopefully you'll, you'll watch my videos and, and take what I say and then go back and do your own research as well. So um, I, I will tell you for every person that you find that's going to say something positive about either paleo or ketogenics, you're going to find somebody else or you'll find a study that... Um, that, that disagrees with that too. So you really just have to decide for yourself is, is what you see in here um, uh, correct or not correct and is it working for you? I know for me over the last 11 weeks, um, this ketogenic diet has literally changed my life um, from a health perspective. It's like I've said before, this is a lifestyle for me, not a diet. Um, so I, I'm gonna continue to do this and my ne very next video that I'm gonna do is on um, vitamins and minerals and, um, and I'll see you soon. Stay healthy and keep life simple.